Here we are again with Call of the Night episode 2. I really liked the first episode because I really liked the art direction of the anime with the different colors, how everything looks in the night. And I also liked the twist that in order to become a vampire, you have to be bitten by a vampire while you love the vampire. So that it's not like you get bitten by a vampire and bam, you are offspring. So I think that is a very interesting twist and makes it a romance basically because the main character wants to be a vampire now because he likes the night. So yeah, I can't wait for the second episode and because of that, if you like what you see or if you want to support me, leave a like, subscribe or a comment. It would really help me and I would appreciate it. So let's start with episode number two. And he's sneaking out again. If the night calls, you answer. Because it's another great night. Because she is here. Mm -hmm. If you love him. <laughs> Indeed it is. So let's suck. <laughs> Becoming a vampire, falling in love with you. Can't wait. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother! <laughs> Request. Because it tastes so good. It's the good stuff. <laughs> oh my god. So, showing the neck is like showing your... <laughs> because copulating. Before sleeping. Right before you fall asleep. No matter what. My quest to fall in love. Hey. If it's her, go for it, Tiger. I mean, they would, they fit together perfectly, right? He wants to be a vampire, she likes his blood. Perfect. Oh, is this another day? A different day? Indeed they do. It's those again? <laughs> another night. Another time to be drunk. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. But every night is a possibility. And there she is again. Yeah. Was she looking for him or just coincidence? Where were you? Why don't you tell me? Some rando. Slutty she devil. <laughs> what about me? Suck me! I mean, yes? I guess it's only cop uh, copulation if you think about that way. If that's why you do it. Or maybe not. They just do it. She doesn't have a phone. いいかな。せっかく。ライン<笑><笑> It has to be in a museum. 
Yeah, right. Where? She doesn't have any pockets for it. I hope. Good night. <laughs> Lay down too, so I can wait for you to fall asleep and suck you. God damn it! Does she even need to sleep? Can she? Or can she? She just stay awake. Let's go. But I'm not in love with you yet. Jealous. He becomes a tsundere. <laughs> oh. Here we go. They start to connect. I wonder if this is the tastiest blood she ever had. What a tsundere. <laughs> Baka, okay, you can suck me, but not because I like you or anything. <laughs> oh, so she does sleep. It starts. The connecting. Man, I really like that this is a romance anime, especially with the twist it has. That he needs to fall in love if he wants to become a vampire. Is she looking for him again? Maybe they should like get a like a certain location where they meet up every time. And she finds him. There she is. Yo again. <laughs> again. A phone? A watch. Transceiver. <laughs> Just to play, nothing else. <laughs> I wonder if she has friends. Like the people from the intro, maybe? Or maybe that's randoms? Eventually, we'll, we will have to meet them. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, if you... They just took it and do nothing with it. Good story. Yes, yeah, still the red one. <laughs> For play? <laughs> I mean, I guess you kind of have to be a pervert to be a vampire, right? Going around sucking people? Can he even keep up with her when she just can't fly around? Oh, yeah. And this hits right at home. That's not a lot of range. But I mean, it's, I guess it's better than nothing. I guess that's why he didn't use it as a kid. Because he was nervous. Who might answer? <laughs> yeah. Uh... Man, he's so awkward. awkward. <laughs> Man, she's so easy to embarrass every time it's about something couple related or something like that. Or falling in love. Oh, she's flying with him again? Yep. Induce him with night. And I wish I could fly around in, in the night sky like this. It looks so good. And this must be an incredible feeling. I really like the combination between those two.
because she's embarrassed when it comes to love, but he's like always embarrassed when it comes to, when it comes to like copula copulation, right? <laughs> it's so weird. Indeed, I, I said it last time. It's so true. I wonder if this hurts. Getting bitten like that. I guess maybe a bit. Somehow that felt dirty. <laughs> exactly. Probably? Question time? Embarrassed again. Yes. Well, you have to start somewhere, right? This is a great first step. I wonder if she can stay outside a day. Sunlight? If that's like... This would be another like cliche. Oh, who's this? Oh, she's from the trailer uh, intro. Whoa! Okay, this was episode two of Call of the Night, and after episode one, I really loved it. It was amazing, and now after episode two, it just enhanced. I l I like it even more. I love it even more. It just got better, and I really like the dynamic between Nazuna and Ko because um, Nazuna is embarrassed when it comes to like. Getting intimate, we saw that when he said uh, Nazuna-san, or added the cha to her name, that was embarrassing for her. Um, or when it comes to like, talking about relationships or love. But she, and I mean, that's exactly what Ko wants, right? He, he wants to fall in love with her so that he can become a vampire. Um, but she likes to talk, or mention mentions copula uh, copulation all the time and does some dirty jokes, and that's something Ko doesn't like. But it's part of what a vampire is, right? Because every time they suck blood, it's basically like copu copulation, and it has to happen to him too. So it's an interesting dynamic between those two, that stuff the one doesn't like, the other lo pretty much has to like, or it's part of what he wants, and vice versa. And... Yeah, it's just awesome, and still, it looks everything looks good. I like the characters. I like Nazuna even more than before. Ko, I feel the same way about, um, but he is a cool character. And um, we also saw at the end the next character that gets introduced, which seems to know Ko. So I guess it's a childhood friend or maybe a classmate. I don't think it's the girl that um, he rejected, right? Oh, was it maybe, I don't know, was it maybe the girl that bullied him? Like the friend of the girl he rejected that told him he was the worst and all that stuff? Was it her? Looked a bit similar maybe, because I think they both had short hair, but I think it's not not the same person, right? Um. So yeah, she's the next person, and can't wait to see that. But yeah, if you like what you saw and want to support me, leave a like, sub, or a comment, I would really appreciate it and it would greatly help me. But yeah, thanks for watching and until next time. Bye bye.